Oh boy, everybody. Welcome back to Dunk and Romp, a Trigger Happy Havoc. Yeah, I hope you didn't click on this episode by accident <laughs> because we are in it now. We are really in it now, folks. Holy shit. Yeah, uh, if, um, if you did click on this on accident, uh, you might want to back up and go click on another episode real fast right now. <laughs> <laughs> but but like and subscribe for her. Yes, please, please do. Or maybe maybe you want to start at the beginning and, and watch it all the way through. Uh, welcome back to Donkey Kong, everybody. Uh, we are at the end of the sixth and final trial here in Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, last time we spent the entire trial uh, working to reveal who the mastermind is behind our our killing game here within the school of ultimate despair um through our investigations and our um evidence that we revealed to the group we discovered that the junko who we thought was killed at the very beginning of the game was actually not junko at all but mukuro kasaba the 16th student hidden somewhere in the school watch out for her but Turns out that wasn't who we needed to watch out for. <laughs> yeah, tur turns out that was a red herring. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, and that the real Junko has been the one piloting Monokuma and pulling the strings of this entire game. Uh, to what end? I don't fucking know. And we're about to find out. But <laughs> yeah, let's hear from the bear herself. Let's hear from our bear girl herself. And she does sound like Jessie from Team Rocket. <laughs> um, so, be prepared. If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with <laughs> half of the entire world. And I'm really sad. Gina told me that she's not going to get to voice Monokuma slash oh, yeah. Junko anymore. I saw this between episodes, but this is the one single moment where I'm the most sad that I guess the trials are voiced. That's kind of spoilery, I guess, but it's... No, I I'm feel... just saying I want to be playing her right I now, <laughs> yeah. and and I cannot. <laughs> but for what it's worth, I got to play Mukuro. I got to play the bear the whole time. Can you, can you give us just a little sample of? Because I can. I'm hear. not because I want you to experience full Junko. Of okay, course. fair enough. Fair enough. I can envision exactly I'll what you're I'll swoop in at the end and give it a like. shot. Okay. <laughs> We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status in some of our home cooking. What? What the fuck? It's Have fine. You made your choice? Will you serve under us? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. No, thanks. No, thank you. Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. Oh, what? Hello? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm getting whiplash, Keep huh? in mind, Everything the bear has ever said came out of this woman's mouth. That's true. That's uh, just keep it in mind. Good point. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. This is the mastermind? She's the real Junko Inoshima. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time. Day after day, it was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? If this is her real voice, this is rad as fuck. And she sounds r and I love it! I love it! <laughs> Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. <laughs> Holy shit. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to this school. Before arriving at the school the first day in the main hall in the headmaster room? I mean, I guess before arriving. <laughs> but it's just very funny. It was definitely before I got to the school, before arriving at the school. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that wrong, then? No, I mean, I think it's I right. Because we saw it on a magazine. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's right. It was before I ever came to the school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. And mm -hmm. you were on it. Mm-hmm. Wow. You have a pretty good memory. 
I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? <laughs> so I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began... I've seen her on tons of magazines... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Yeah, because they're like, their eyes are a little different, and she's got the freckles here, and... Yeah, this is this is an anime face the problem. The problem is that their anime faces, yeah. and they look really similar. And every character in this game looks pretty similar yeah, if you just look at their face. They do have a, a, some same face syndrome yeah. going on here, but... But, it, whatever. In-universe? I think that's why they have to stress this so hard, is because they're like, we know the art does not convey this, Oops. it's okay. Yeah. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> uh, well, of course, those are photoshopped. Photoshopped? Hmm. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same because she was a different person all along. I'm me, and Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best, but there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. <laughs> Not even if they're twins. <laughs> twins? Oh, y'all twins? Is that what the- Oh. Well, then that makes sense then. Yeah. That that's why they look so goddamn similar. So I was gonna say, I'm like, they still look really similar they still look though. Really similar though, yeah. So And and I feel like if they weren't twins, they would have given beyond just the freckles a more like even even Toko has like a beauty mark, like something that's yeah, like and oh you physically mm -hmm. their eyes are the same color. They had pretty similar like eyelashes and stuff, but I assume that it was I, like makeup and stuff. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. because actually Mukuro didn't. Um not Mukuro in the, didn't. not in the no. photos. So yeah. they're wearing Um but their eye lashes. color and like the way their eyes like their irises were the mm -hmm. same, so yeah. I know it's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. Damn, you killed your sister! Yeah. Holy shit! So I had basically, a great time doing it. Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. I don't know why I never thought that they would be twins, but I feel kind of like a fool for not even considering the twin well, factor. They were, stre they were stressing that their faces and all. Yeah, that. that's true. <laughs> yeah. Now that now the the split bears make sense now too. Ugh. Oh. Yay. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this this has some layers to it, huh? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. The older sister, tough and proud. That was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute. That was. <laughs> Me, Junko fucking Anishima! And together, <laughs> we were the Despair Sisters, aka the Ultimate Despair! Oh my god! <sighs> Girl, yes! God, <laughs> what a pleasure. <laughs> what a pleasure to be in your presence, Queen. <laughs> yes! Whoa. She's a totally different person now! Yeah, she can play every single role that she needs to play. Yep. Like I said, I get bored easy as hell! I even get fucking bored with myself. <laughs> but if if you're twins, why do you have d different last names? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumbass, but it bores me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth <laughs> is lame anyway. <laughs> Yeah. It's the same thing she she said but just she a moment ago. Twin. That means Sorry. You killed your own sister? When when like she 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 really did just pull this shit where um Monokuma was like what do you want to know about memory? Me removing your memories? You don't care? Yeah, that's You don't true. care at all. <laughs> she did. It's it's Medi like what? It's hypnotism. It's it, a machine. It it's does, surgery. Uh, yeah, we, we we went back in time one minute and we erased your memory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like Which is one minute what? over and over and over. Exactly. Again. Like who fucking cares? Yeah. I did it. So, so fuck off. This yeah. seems to be her mo. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Don't question me. I just it, it, whatever. The real answer sucks. Yeah. So fuck off. <laughs> um, but 
to Hina's point, yeesh. Yes. Yep. And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. <laughs> As if. <laughs> well, I suppose I'd better explain. <laughs> love her <laughs> <laughs> yes for my plan to work someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes <laughs> is it the same voice yeah. voice actor okay great yeah. perfect i really was like please the oh. so-called mastermind had to operate monokuma keep an eye on everyone things like that but after looking at the situation i determined it would be impossible for mukuro to perform such duties because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Jeez. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. <laughs> the way she said those lines. She it was atrociously know. clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... Why you switched identities? Yeah, rounded out the cast. She, oh, Sadly, man. her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. So wait, so they were working together then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were working together. She was nothing more than a bit player. An extra, unworthy of lines. Jeez. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her to meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. I see why you're letting her just go. <laughs> I was like, can you give me an example? Like, Under no, no circumstances. It, it makes so much sense. Yeah, I was like, I absolutely will not and cannot. <laughs> oh my god. So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. She did stab her in the back. God, I wish yeah. I could be playing two cards. Right Fuck! Now. I feel really bad that you can't play no, her right okay. now. It's okay. It sucks. <laughs> God damn. Uh, but yeah, so no, fun. she absolutely stabbed her sister in the back. Jeez. So they they went in with this plan, and she's like, "Ah, oh, you really suck at this. I'm just gonna get rid of you." Yeah, I absolutely hate watching you try to imitate me. Goodbye. Yeah. Woof. Just as I suspected. Which, for what it's worth, if this is who Junko is. Mukuro did a, a real piss poor job. It's, I mean, her being, uh, yeah, she her being upset is like on a brand. normal, a normal She was just human. a person. Yeah. They were like, wow, you seem so down to earth for the fashion news. And she's like, oh, you know. Yeah. Like, wow, you're really not imitating your sister at no, all. No, didn't even try. <laughs> uh, wow. Crazy. <laughs> Terrible actor. Honestly, if she did, though, it would have drawn some, like, it would have made the similarities between her and Monokuma, Monokuma yeah. way more obvious though. So I could kind of see where she'd be coming from if she's like, well, we're not gonna fucking know who I am, so I'm just gonna act yeah, normal. Nobody's gonna draw a line between normal down to earth, good old Junko and the, the wild and crazy bear. True. Yeah. I just, wow, fascinating. When yeah. Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. <sighs> this wasn't supposed to. Oh yeah, she did say that, huh? Why me? <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right. There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? Hmm. How can you talk like that? You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? 
Jeez. Misunderstandings sure are scary. <laughs> oh, my God. We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. Oof. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. <laughs> God. We were twins. How could I not be sad? <laughs> <laughs> Mushrooms! <laughs> That's why it gets me so excited. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. <laughs> it's Jesus. like super, 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 super despair. No. Oh. More than that. Super, 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 super despair. Holy shit. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? And you thought this guy was going to be the... Listen, I admitted last episode I'm not going to say anything else. I just think when you see them side by side, you're like, oh, it's all right. It truly is night and day. <laughs> you're right. And my sister, too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister and only as an example to someone else. I guess it tracks mm. for them. Hey. Yeah, what a what a pleasure. Wow. She must have Mugro. died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own <laughs> despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. What I will say is Jigo has an incredible effect of making the rest of the cast look incredibly well-rounded and normal. Yes! We're flipping true. around and I'm like, look at this reasonable person. <laughs> yeah. Byakuya Togami. Byakuya Togami. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Yasuhiro. I know. <laughs> just like, yeah. yeah. And, and Toko to some extent. Yeah. And she yeah. looks over at Toko she's like, oh my god, I'm the normal one. Ooh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. All right, cool. Uh oh, <laughs> don't do not do not Sorry. cat. Sorry, it's the cat. She wants to jump. The cat's got got silliness in her eyes. Like genocide, Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts. <laughs> I was just waiting. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? <laughs> so I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. Hopelessly devoted to you. I'm the hopelessly perfect <laughs> ultimate human. No, I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah, Master's way more perfect. Cause on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. <laughs> hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? Ooh, is he not the the the, the head of the Togami family? Is he one of the rejects? Oh, is he one of the rejects? What did you just say? What do you mean by that? Oh, or, or the Togami family doesn't fucking exist anymore. Can't be the head of the Togami co company if the Togami company doesn't exist. Because the world already ended. Uh-oh. <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow. That's really good. <laughs> You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap, yap, yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer, so how about the next one? <laughs> Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories, then you can start gloating! Damn straight! <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do! We're going to solve all these mysteries! I love then... that night. We'll have our victory! 
Nike's character arc has been learning to curse, and I'm very proud of yeah, him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I let Nike say fuck. Yeah, that's like, the goal by the yeah. end of the game. Yeah. Juka's already gotten hers. Oh, yeah. She's yeah, she's good. In. But by the end of the game, our I'm goal. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, she said fuck. Yeah, she said fuck, yeah. too. She said fuck several times. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, not Makoto. Nike. It's time. Say fuck. <laughs> <laughs> let Makoto say fuck. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? <laughs> when the guru pictures were taken, and those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance exams. <laughs> no fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Thinking back to what Monokuma's told us, the memories we were stolen that were stolen from us, and what they must be related to. Uh, 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 the, 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 uh, wait. The founding of Hosting Academy? No, that's not no, right. No, it's probably the motives Monokuma weird. came up with. These I are guess. not the answers I was expecting no, to come up on screen. No, this is not what I thought, yeah. I but guess. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? I mean, yeah, she removed our memories so that we'd fight. Mm, so. so you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. <laughs> so then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A uh, theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? The theme for the motive Monokuma gave us for the first murder. Monokuma gave us those DVDs. On my DVD was footage of my family. On Sayaka's was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. So for the first murder, the motive we were given was... Human, human connections. connections. I got it! Mm -hmm. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. <laughs> For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. <laughs> Damn. Okay, time for the next question! So wait, she actually murder our family? Or do something? Or make it look like it? Fuck! Shit! I'm... I mean, I guess if she's part of the tragedy that caused all of that, then by extension, yes! I guess... Or she just went out and did it. Or she just went out and did it. She can take over the airwaves. Yeah, you can that's murder true. a few families. That that is very true. Yeah. You murder a few families and friends. Yeah, yeah. It's like Fuck there's it. a tragedy, but also separate from that, I did murder she all could your just family go do and that. friends. Yeah. Fuck. Um. So, what was the theme for the second motive? For the second murder, the motive's theme was. That's when we got those weird envelopes from Monokuma. Mine mentioned how I used to wet the bed. So the theme that time was uh, the past. I got it. It was our past, right? Right, because then that influenced Chihiro and Mondo, and yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. Makoto got it right again. That time the theme was. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing memories and secrets. Yeah! <laughs> and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? 
The theme for the third murder was. The reason Celeste turned to murder was. Sorry, I didn't realize they were supposed to. They were going back to back later. Mm -hmm. She wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. <laughs> that is a true statement. That's true. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, so she says. So that time, the motive for murder was. Greed. Yeah. Yeah. I got it! It was money, wasn't it? Greed. And she also gave us, said, like, I'm gonna give you guys a million dollars or yep. whatever. Yeah. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah! You got it again! <laughs> yep. All that money. God damn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. <laughs> What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind Crazy Ass Sakura's crazy ass death? The motive in the case of Sakura's death was. What was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of that of the motive in that fourth case was blackmail. Blackmail. She's blackmailing her family too. Oh. Oh, that was wrong. I guess, I guess so. Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's try again. Shoot. Sorry. Okay. Whatever. Sorry. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I just we didn't even read that out. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets. It's betrayal. I was about me? to say before you clicked it. I was about to say I think it's actually betrayal. Oh, <laughs> I've got terrible just news. <laughs> right. Oops. We're losing some hearts. It's okay. It's betrayal. It's betrayal. <laughs> our, our, our Luckily, all of them are, are true. You know what they, I mean? Yeah. Like, I got it. Those are all true. Case, mm -hmm. It was betrayal. Precisely. You see, once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. That's true. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only <laughs> motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. I love this spray. <laughs> Why? It just yeah. is so cute. It's so powerful. I know. <laughs> they compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. Seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Mm. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? <laughs> You're monologuing! <laughs> Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? Mm-hmm. The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. Right, exactly. That there was even the inkling of getting out of here. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. She does keep saying we. Yeah. Yeah. The ultimate despair. I know, the group. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. but the only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? Because if we had our memories, we would know that we can't leave. We and have to stay here. And that was what, that's sort of what 
I think Makoto's weird flashback is is that no, the goal is to stay. Yeah. Is that we we have to stay. Yeah. The goal was always to stay. The goal yeah. was never to leave. And on top of that, it, it's it's Ooh. kinda funny because um like this kind of explains why Mana Bear was so uh, Monokuma was so like adamant that finding the truth and finding like the reason we were here was not gonna help us. Because if it would just plunge us back into total despair, that's exactly what Junko would want in the long run. Right. Yeah, exactly. to get to this moment. Junko's cornered, maybe, but not losing. Right, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, like, still has enough information to prove that, that there's still despair. Yeah, and despair yeah. is victorious, so yes. we'll, we'll see what that means. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? Right. What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. <laughs> huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. Uh-oh. I'd like for you to see the outside world. There it is. <laughs> show, show us. The outside world you mean the world beyond the school walls so something really did happen out there now are you interested in what i have to say you want to see what's out there i want to see too see your faces sink into despair <laughs> now then open sesame Behold! The world beyond the school walls! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a little sillier than I expected, but oh, it's still not good. <laughs> <laughs> huh. There's a bear cult. There's a bear cult! <laughs> Turns out there's a bear cult. Uh oh! <laughs> and we're on every channel. <laughs> Ooh boy! That, now that kind of makes sense why we're on TV right now. Yeah, because well, they're know. obsessed with the bear. It's part of the whole thing. Killing in the name of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> da -da -da -da. yeah. <laughs> the world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What? What am I looking at? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? That's a great question. Yeah, what? Looks are a little you different than expected. Us? This is a scene from a movie or something. What you just Ooh. saw, all of you should recognize it. You should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? This whole thing is insane! That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember ain't a fucking excuse no more, because now it's time for the final class trial. What are we, what, what are we been doing that? <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, we no. Really, we never really left the class I trial. Guess that's true. Genocide Jack's memory photo of Kyoko and Headmaster group photo. Okay. Come on, bitches. Remember or die. <laughs> what the fuck happened outside? You the want us to remember or tragedy. whatever, but yep. when it comes grab, to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't video. understand a damn thing! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another <laughs> one of your practical jokes? Footage? I mean, okay. you're telling us to remember, but 
What am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything. Oh, it's Genocide Jack. This it's this. Oh, 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 yeah, right there. Yeah, because Genocide Jack can remember because their memories are separate. Yeah, so the whole time. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I guess no one asked her. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't understand. What's the meaning of the Is this another one of your practical I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Yes. Nobody can remember anything. <laughs> Sorry, no, Toko. We got We're going to need Toko. you to transform. <laughs> <laughs> Toko, we need you to take a break for a sec. Yep. We got to ask Actually, somebody. She might remember. Mm-hmm. Who might remember? Sorry, Toko. The other Toko. Genocide Jack. What? Okay. Finally coming to good use. <laughs> Do you have any pepper on you? Certain yeah. kinds of knowledge. But their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate. And she didn't get her memory wiped. Then even if one personality's forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. <laughs> what do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? Yes, please. No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. We just need you to... You can go back. Yeah. We just need you to... We'll let you come back, I promise. It's just a quick switcheroo. Or if someone just comes over and Who has like, a bonk, knife? Like, or bonk her on like, the head. Who, who can just be like, just like blood? Blood. <laughs> Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. Superpower. <gasps> yes! Using his superpower for He's good. He's doing it. For good. Yes! Yeah! Immediately! <laughs> she immediately did it! <laughs> well done! He just needed to say, do it. And she would have been like, done. Da, 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 da. It's me, your friendly neighborhood serial killer! What's up, girl? Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. She doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, she oh, should, though. Yeah. Um, I'm the mastermind. <laughs> Unless she never went well, to school. <laughs> this answers my question. No, Genocide Jack didn't have to get a high school diploma. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. <laughs> I kind of like that exchange. Aye, aye. Roger, you got it, Captain. I can love Jazz Angel. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty crazy world out there. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Oh? Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! Hell yeah! It's the whole time. It's your memory after all. <laughs> of course I did it! Why didn't you say something earlier? <laughs> I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? <laughs> I was right! You were correct! <laughs> She's the worst liar in the world. <laughs> More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Mister? Do you really not remember the tragedy? Mm -hmm. The tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember with a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Just answer the question. <laughs> what happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's aligned on that. <laughs> that was a really good delivery. 
What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event! What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now! Is... now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself! Tell us everything you know! I knew it! <laughs> Fucking called it. You did. You called it from very early yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. It was impressive. Yeah, darling. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, the evidence. Yeah, seems the seeds to be were there. there. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So this big, awful, tragic event. They started just calling it the tragedy. Happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. Hmm. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Uh, it, all of civilization collapsed, it sounds like, essentially. And as a result, in basically no time flat, the world turned out the way it did. Yep. Yep. That's all <laughs> Great. there is to it? Come on. There wasn't a single concrete description <laughs> in there. I was about to say, it's like, yep. yeah, it's like bad stuff happened and then the world was bad. You don't need the details. Yeah. It's fine. The world's It's like bad losing now. your memory and the rest of it. Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. But it's like, they knew it was happening at the time, though, whenever, ooh, uh, sorry, I'm bonking the mic here with the controllers. <laughs> um, like, whenever they were bringing this class into Hope's Peak, and they were like, shit, the world's going to shit. We gotta save these kids. We're gonna lock them in here. And Did they? Ooh, I don't know. No, I'm not sure. When, when you said that just now. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I guess I don't know if that was the intent of what happened or not. Or if the whole thing was like, it was, it was all a ploy to be like, we're gonna lock you in here for your safety. Mm -hmm. But it's actually all part of the grand scheme plan of we're gonna broadcast this to the world and continue to keep keep spare going. I don't well, know. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics. That's fair. I guess she wouldn't know the specifics. Miss Morose saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? <laughs> we already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations to die. To die. This is the true tragedy. <laughs> I love that line read. That was great. That was great. Gotcha, okay, okay. Cider. That's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever <laughs> happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? Dude, well, he's like, I'm being shown up. Get yeah, out of here, right? Cider. <laughs> I have a bit I'm doing. Please. <laughs> You're not helping. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking the attention away from me. <laughs> yeah. The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. How can the world just end? It's... it's the world! <laughs> Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. <laughs> well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. <laughs> what? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. <laughs> you fit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of here! Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Tagami family? <laughs> <laughs> I guess if the Tagami family fell, that means the the family that was controlling everything behind the scenes means that nothing could be controlled anymore. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing to control. Oh, yeah. Right. Well done, peasant. Mm -hmm. But I didn't say anything yet. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that was pretty, uh... Huh. That was really weird. <laughs> got some fucking bored waiting. I couldn't help it. Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? <laughs> I pick for you. But do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, life.
like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. <laughs> mm. That goes beyond just there was nothing to control. They were systematically eliminated. They were just destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. What the hell are you talking about? Holy shit. I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Shit. Stop with these idiotic jokes. Oh no. Oh no, I'm feeling things for Yakia now. Oh no. Stop. And said with such authority. A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. <laughs> Hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? I don't make sense. There's no way that happened a year ago. <laughs> I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. No, dude. Time skip. Yeah, but he hasn't he hasn't decided how much if time skip. Some kind skip. of world-ending mm. event happened a year ago. Then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Because well, I think, oh, if I'm sorry. understanding you right, sorry, I think it's possible that what the, where where Makoto's getting tripped up is when he thinks of erased memories. He he thinks of entering the school through, like, basically the setup for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but if there's a at minimum a year where they were escaping the tragedy. Yes. And then also they took some pictures where they were having fun and goofing off and going swimming and punching fish. Right. Then that's that's a lot more time than I think they're they considered. they're willing to. Yeah, the, because that's a lot of time. Right. Exactly. Mm. To be gone from your memory. Yeah. And that's scary. Yeah. And like, how can you even consider that? Exactly. It's rather that. No, we got we got knocked out, lost some memories whenever we came in, mm. and then we started up in this killing game, not realizing that there was a huge chunk of time when the tragedy was happening while mm. they were locked in the school. Exactly. Yeah. It sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. No. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. <laughs> You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently. There right? it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh? Can I just say? Two years ago? <laughs> Something that's been cracking me up literally since the beginning of the playthrough is every time we make fun of Yasuhiro and you're like, he's he's a 25 year old man. And I was like, no, he's he's not. Although he actually is a 25 year old man. Because he got <laughs> held back a few years and he's been in here for two years also. Yo. <laughs> so he's actually Yo. A, a man in his 20s. It's just so funny to me because <laughs> Because you've been right all along. <laughs> oh my god. Every, you right. you seized it off of him. We didn't even have the information. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> he is like probably 23 or 25. Yeah. Because he was held back a few years. Yeah, I think he he's between 23 and 24. And he's yeah. and he was in here for two extra years since when he came in. Oh no! I was right! <laughs> You're so, right! So that means that, okay, so then everyone else is two years older than yeah. when they came in. So everyone else is around like, probably 18, 17, 18? Yeah, probably. 18 maybe? Yep. Yeah, okay. Whoa. How do you guys not real? I, I don't know, if like, how would you not, how would you be like, well, I seem to be a little bit bigger. I mean, I bigger. think, like, like, Kyoko did. Oh, that's true, she's, she's like, like what, what did you, you do, do to my body? body? Yeah. And she's like, oh my god, I, like, yeah. she aged. <laughs> So that makes sense. I get, and mm. I guess we're, and we can see from the pictures, we're led to assume that that like Mondo hit puberty real young. So, well, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. he had I... he had deep voice and big muscles <laughs> yeah. when he was he was 15. And Sakura's been training for a long time, so yeah. she's been like pretty strong for a while. And yeah, so hmm, wow. 
No, it's good. It all checks out. Yeah, it's so, just... Yeah. I mean, yeah. You guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. And that's when it started happening. Wait, what? Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? Oh my god. I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What had, are the memories I took from you? Yeah. Hmm? They had one totally normal year. Yep. And then one very not normal year. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. And now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? But like a I... year. I just don't know what's going on anymore. They got they got one happy year. They got one happy year. And then they had a year where they're like, shit's going down. Yeah. And we're 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 well we're locking ourselves in here. This really didn't work out for them. Oh. Ooh, Biakia. Yeah, he's 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 dealing with some other stuff. We'll come back to you. Yeah. Uh, Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Junko says is true, if we first came here two years ago. But the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memories she took from us. Uh, our life at Hope's Peak. Yeah. Our life at Hope's Peak. Yep. I got it! Which has mm -hmm. two different meanings if in a lot of ways. If we that what you say is true. Exactly. Yeah. Good point. Mm -hmm. Then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No, I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? Oof. That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. Hmm. I don't remember Why we were the finding last two years of my life. All those pictures lying around of like yeah. Leon and Chihiro they were friends. And hanging out and being friends and that's so sad. Yeah, they were friends. That's... Ultimately, when you take a big step back, that's what sucks. Is that everyone was actually like really good friends? Yeah. And and, and they all, all chose all... to spend the rest of their lives together. Yeah. That's so sad. That's really, really, really sad. Mm -hmm. And that if we just wipe your memories and give you some motives, we'll make all these best friends kill each other. Mm -hmm. hey. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Yeah. That, Fuck. That's not possible. I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. But that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe... I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. Oh boy, here we go. I gotta sit back up again. <laughs> oh boy, make my argument. Okay, lock. locker pocket. Oh, there's a whole bunch here. All these could work. Yeah. Locker notebook. Hey, but not the headmaster's eating handbook. Okay. Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Yeah, I just got to... It's probably Hell no! That's notebook. impossible! Yeah. yeah. I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just... <laughs> surreal. Oh, Plus, buddy. if oh. two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> oh, I'm glad he brought it up! Everyone's so conflicted! I don't know what I'm supposed to hit here! I don't know. I wasn't really, to be honest, there was so much going on on yeah. screen, I wasn't really, um... Like, just just the environmental storytelling with the with everything going on screen was really tragic. I know, it's pretty cool though, in yeah. a way, yeah. Like, all the, wor all the extra words you shoot now are all the same words that are just being echoed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to believe it, but I, I know there's evidence that reveals the time as students we lost. Um, oh, I guess the oh, the photo. notebook's not the pocketbook. No, like that. so it's that's Hero's oh, thing. Oh, I've never been to a single class. class. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Oh no. no, that's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything. Heck, I've never even gone to a single class. Can I get it? I uh, think you get the, it's okay. You did. didn't lose anything for, for it, though. Yeah. Plus, if I gotta get rid of the purples. <laughs> I think. Everyone's so yeah. conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted. <laughs> Okay, lock in a book. I could never leave. We've been living here for hell no! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome you school events or anything. I've never even gone to a single class! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh, yeah. There we go. Woo-hoo! This is crazy! <laughs> Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This is also very sad. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. I love that Hero's handwriting has been triple set up by this point to that's where they don't true. have to re-explain it. That yeah. you can see it and you're like, okay, yeah, that's it. I, I just think it's, it's good. This game has good storytelling. Good storytelling. Good storytelling. Yeah. Very good. What's it, what's it? Is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. Uh, this is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery's solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! <laughs> oh my god! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? She was here, too. Mm -hmm. She was fucking in those two years because yeah. she hit her face. Like, she was there the whole time. She was there the whole time. Absolutely. Yeah. And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? Oh boy. We are bored of this world! Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Right. Thanks, That's thanks, June Carol. Kind of funny. Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where our memories come apart? Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time. Just after I set foot in the main hall for the first time. When I fainted. And that was when I fainted. Yeah. I got it! The moment I lost my memories. I can't think of any time other than that day. Is that really when we stepped into the school for when the first time? I first time? came to the gates mm -hmm. of this school mm. and stepped foot in the main hall. 
When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. And that's when the killing game started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I assume not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. So they collapsed. Two years of school life happens. Their memories are removed, and then, much like 999, they're all put in different classrooms so that they can come together yeah, in the and entrance hall again. and then they come back yeah. up. Yeah. Fuck. But, I guess the question is, what happens whenever they walk in that makes it so that their memories, all of that time, those two years, can be erased? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! Or is that when they... When they walked in, two whole, two years had already gone by? Wait, what? The reason it felt so short was because our memories okay. of the time in between had been completely okay, okay, removed. Okay, yeah, it's, right, it's, right. it's what you're saying. Okay. They're, they're just... Sorry, they're that, just, was, that was just worth yeah. a little weird for tech. You got it, honey. Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. <laughs> Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, mm -hmm. but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal! You were all such close friends! You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other! Yeah, that's what we said. Mm -hmm. Ugh. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated! <sighs> <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale! Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it! You're the one who set things up to be like this! I love you all so much. <laughs> oh my god. What? Yeah. Huh. Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. Huh. It's only right. natural there. that I would yeah. fall in love. Oh shit. Oh boy. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! The ultimate despair? All mankind? Let's go back in time! Two years! Okay? She's gonna expose it to us again. Yeah, <laughs> it's just really funny. I thought you were done! But, <laughs> but she cares about. Well. Uh, she's so interesting! She loved her sister. Yeah. No. Oh! But she also feels nothing but despair. That's the so thing is she has one emotion and it's despair. Ugh, which overwrites anything else. Yeah, that she, she doesn't can know experience. fear, she doesn't know love, she yeah. doesn't know any of it. Fuck. Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Mm. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Mm. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much! You were all having the time of your lives! But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, Guys, most we know. event in human history. <laughs> the tragedy. How'd you do it, though? Please tell us how! Or what that means. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. They're never gonna explain it, are and they? And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. So there were more of us. 
I guess we, we know, know that. That, that was the fifth floor. The dead bodies yeah. and the and it's, ruined lockers because there were more lockers than the the fifteen of us. Yeah, I mean it, it's here. it's not just heavily implied, but like more than that, that all the areas we're in have been restored. Yes. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Because Monokuma was like, no, no, no. I left. Th this is the room I left untouched. Right. Everything else has yeah. been. That's why anything that's not on camera has been left exactly ha as it was. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What are you? Hmm. Hmm. What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Hmm. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. It's like... Did you read Ender's Game? Mm hmm It's like uh, Ender's brother and sister in Ender's Game. Yeah. Where they just seed, like... Yeah, and that's... Ideology, and that's what causes... That's what caused it. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, they're just two people. Yeah. Mukuro and, and Junko, but they, they found like-minded souls... And for each person that fell into despair, it's like a it's like a ripple effect. Right, exactly. Bounced yeah. off everyone around them. Wow. Except for these kids. True. Yeah. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. I don't think In that was too words, much of a spoiler for Ender's Game. I hope not. Sorry <laughs> if I spoil Ender's Game for anybody. The book's been out for 30 years. Go read it. Itself. Also, I feel like if you're going to spoil Ender's Game, that's not the thing that's you say. That's not the spoiler. <laughs> yeah. That's really not. That's just sort yeah, of the world just, building detail. Exactly. That is not. Yeah. <laughs> that's there's just, a lot of things you can say about Ender's Game, and that's yeah, not the one that's not, that I think people would get upset about. That's not the thing. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> I just don't understand why. That was the analogy that came to mind mm. immediately, though. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, <laughs> so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. Fuck. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. I guess, so there were other, like, the 77th and the 79th, like, you know, the other... Yeah, because we were classes freshmen. above... Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Above us. Yeah. We were the freshmen. So there had been two sense. classes above us. And yeah. they were dead. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oof. And then, something super neat happened. Now pay attention, because this is important, and I'm only going to say it once. So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter. Okay. All right. That's right. It was transformed into a shelter. Why did she say it twice? That was okay. <laughs> uh, I said it twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Oh, I see. Do any of you know who that might have been? Yes, Teach. Well, yes. The one who turned Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolated us here was the headmaster. Yes. Yep. I got it. It could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Mm. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. Oh well, yeah, and a bunch of students had already died. Mm -hmm. So we needed to lock down the, like, the school. Because they're, they're humanity's hope. That's the whole idea of Hope's Peak. And right. if there were only one class These left- These are the best of the best like, yeah. in the world all here and it's oh we've already lost so many of them mm -hmm. but then the ultimate despair was already in was like oh perfect yep That's unfortunately they, they didn't infiltrate it yeah <laughs> that's mm -hmm. why he asked us to make that promise to say that we were willing to live in this school forever we believe he had something like that in mind yes if you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. Wow. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agree. 
to live here forever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. Ooh, that's cool art. Mm -hmm. It's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. It's definitely Persona 5's art style, though, which I know came out way later. Way later. <laughs> <laughs> like a decade later, which yep. is hilarious to me. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. But it is exactly the style and colors. Yep. <laughs> he had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way Which, into the well, school. It makes me go, well, Persona 5 took it from Donkin Rompa. Well, it's also hilarious because they are exactly the anti-Phantom Thieves. They are! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> they, are, they are exactly the opposite. <laughs> yep. Sowing their ideology in, in unsuspecting victims. Yep. Yeah. Nothing but trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then she's saying, yes, they'd already made it in. Yep. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. <laughs> By the way. It was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Oh, they did all the work to seal up the place. Mm -hmm. Oh! Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. And meanwhile, the ultimate despair is like, oh, this is perfect. Okay, yeah. all right, they're just Clean already... up the place for me, thank you. They're just locking us in here already? Oh, wow! Oh, my God! We just... Oh, they, we've already got security you cameras You a little terrarium for despair. Oh, my God! Oh. This is perfect. We already have the airwaves hijacked, so this will we'll just start broadcasting this, and it'll be <laughs> excellent. Everyone's gonna love it. <laughs> you mean we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work, and thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. Mm -hmm. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. Mm -hmm. This despair is contagious. Put it out into the world and see, look, this is supposed to be the ultimate, the school of ultimate hope. Yep. The greatest, like, you know, cream of the crop, gen like kids that will go Look up to lead the world. Look how pathetic they are. Look what they yeah. succumb to greed mm -hmm. and to, yeah, you exactly. You guys are, the whole world succumbed to greed. We can, we can, we can it's even like make. It's like little floodgates. Yes. Each one of the motives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we, like, we can even make the, the great, like, the greatest, the greatest of the greatest fall to it as well. Mm. So. So what hope do others have? Yeah. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. Mm-hmm. Only let us live so we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? There you know the answer. Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. Mm, people still fighting back. Yep. Yeah. There's a resistance. Oh boy. They gotta squash the resistance. Oh shit. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? Hmm. What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world that was... I jacked the airwaves. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, oh, Hangman's We're Gambit. Hangman's Gambit. It's such whiplash. I know. We come back to it. Nobody was exact. Uh, hijack. hijack. <laughs> okay. Hijack the airwaves. Give me the. Give me the eye. I need an eye. Give me an eye. I need an eye. There's an eye. God damn it. Hijack. Okay. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Powerful <laughs> Hangman's <laughs> Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Mm hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm talking uh -huh. about to show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. Mm hmm. 
We were just so, like 30 seconds ahead of the game. Yeah, in our well, it's also the like point of the ultimate despair. I keep doing that. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. It's also like it's in general very effective, but also specifically if any of the rebellion or the resistance are affiliated with these kids because they're trying to save them, then directly showing them die off is a right. very effective method that is of, really true. of taking any heat out of that. That yeah. is very true. Yeah. The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? <laughs> By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried oh. to come and rescue you. Oh no! Oh, uh, are you serious? Monokuma said something. Uh, uh, Monokuma has been banging. very straight. We've heard noises as well. We've heard construction noises. I'm assuming that's people trying to get in. Well, also, like, Monokum was straight up set because uh, I think it was in, I forget which room it was in, but the, um, Aoi was like, well, surely by now, somebody if, if we were on TV, somebody would have come and rescue us. Yeah. And Monokum was like, are you sure they haven't? That's a good point. Yeah. Because they, they've tried. Uh -huh. They've definitely tried. I think there's another one where, like, someone would have called the police. And they're like, there are no police. There are no police. Yeah, who are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, police have been gone for a year. Yeah. Any sort of law enforcement has ceased to exist. Mm. Yeah. Holy shit. But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, they, they, they did. Expelled oh, them? No. <laughs> I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, yep. refusing mm -hmm. to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. So she lured, lured them out of their, their hidey holes. Oh. Yep. Because <laughs> she's like, oh, this is perfect. They're going to come and try and rescue you so I can just eliminate them all whenever they show up. It makes it easy to up. find. Oh. You come to me. Oh, my God. But she's in so the mean. end, this is so I fucked was up. to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? to bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take. Give and take? You're so full of shit. <laughs> yes, say fuck, Makoto. We gotta get him there. <laughs> you gotta say fuck. <laughs> There's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Are we all your favorites? Is that what this is? I'm sorry, that's a lie. Oh. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. <sighs> and that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? Where do we go from here? Great question. There's more games in this series. <laughs> I, that's what I keep thinking of. Is that there's three more games? There are. And that's a, that is a correct statement. We, the, the map, Juko said, when we figured it out, she'd go execute herself. Yeah. So then, I guess it doesn't matter if if the, the person that has seeded all of, all of the despair in the world, and it's already underway, there's no real point for her to still be around anymore because she's done her job. Yeah, like, so she's we, like, Whatever, the, it's all. Right. What's done is done, and we can't change. The world is not going to be changed. Yeah, it's so, that. That's that is a. If you get rid of me, sailed ship. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like I. Th yeah. Very much a sailed ship. So. You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? Hmm. It's the ultimate reveal. Mm-hmm. So, And she's been confident fuel. in this from moment one. That's true. See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. And, and yeah, and Kyoko's whole thing has been, we're gonna find the truth. 
Like, but for what it's worth, Kierke's whole thing has never been truth will lead to hope. No, her or thing, truth is good. Her thing is, there is only one truth and we need to find it. Yeah, there, yeah. there's no good or bad, there's true. Yes. And that's always been her, her approach. Yeah. yeah, and I'm hoping that she sticks to that. And I don't know. Truth but, can be full of despair too. Like right fucking now. Hmm. Truth, full of despair. That's not to mention all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. Yeah. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Don't fucking matter if you give you a million dollars. Yeah, that has no meaning. Yeah. Then we. Yeah. Yep. We've been murdering each other for nothing. Mm-hmm. And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we haven't, we haven't checked in with Yaki he, in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. he's checked out. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame him. Yeah, this has been... He specific... Juko came to just end his entire day. Yeah, she really yeah. did. And pretty early on in yeah. this discussion, She's too. Like, be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You are not an ultimate. No, yeah. Even I can't laugh at that. <laughs> oh, we get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us. I'll do anything. Just help me. A peasant begging for his life. Oh, how delightful. We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. Whew. <laughs> no argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? She's not wrong. <laughs> Honestly. No. Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like. But, but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Woo! Oh, hello. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Where are we going with this, with this strategy, Makoto? Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. And it always Is comes back to that cat, saying? huh? <laughs> <laughs> you and I will never get away from we'll this cat. We'll never get away from this cat, I huh? know. <laughs> in, in, in every mystery puzzle killing game, it always comes back to that cat, huh? <laughs> Gotta love that cat. If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Let us out. Well, Ooh. you better not. You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure! Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this! Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in! I refuse to lose to you! For the sake of everyone you've killed! Which is a lot of people. Which is it's a lot. It's, it's not more, far more than expected. It's not just the nine people who have died oh, no. here. It's... Oh boy, no. So many! Yes. Yeah. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them! <sighs> I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant! Say what you want about hope, but we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally! Hell yes! <laughs> That's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories. Invented reasons for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner! It's all your fault! I mean... Yeah. Yes! It's all your fault! And we knew that from the beginning. Yeah, it's always, it's always been, been a who, keep your eye on the on the yeah. real villain. Yeah, yep. you certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? Yeah, he's never killed anybody. No one in this room has killed anybody. 
Also, that is almost definitely true. Well, I mean, sorry. By which Except I mean, actually, Jinko. no, Toko's not in this room right now. Genocider is. No, Toko is in the room right now. No, wait, Genocider. Yeah, Genocider is. is. Oh, okay, never mind. I take, also, I take it back. Takami's probably killed somebody. Okay, yeah, you're right. I take Mo it all Half of the people in this room haven't killed anybody. Okay, <laughs> take it all back. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no. No, no! no. <laughs> she did a little Corey. Corey, no! <laughs> oh, no! No! Get no. down! Eat! No, she, she eats! No! No, oh, she's coming down. Wait, come uh, on down. Come on down. This is not the time. No, it's not the We're time. at the climax wait, of this. Wait. No, wait! No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell, but she just leapt up and down. A full six feet. Yeah. <laughs> At least six feet and almost jumped directly on our computer. Yeah. <laughs> Which would have been cataclysmic. That would have been really, really bad. Okay. Okay, anyway. All right. <laughs> but we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? Yeah, what does that mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. Oh, great. But you said, you fucking said there wouldn't be any fucking loopholes or what? anything. Yeah. You guys so full of hope and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish hope, well then... I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of hope. Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. What does this mean? Exactly. That's a prisoner dilemma. No. Okay. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, it's okay. Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win to punish you guys... You'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, if they vote, if they vote for hope, then they leave. Then, then they leave. And probably immediately die. When, when they walk outside. Yeah. yeah. Which is what they've been trying to do the whole time is to escape the school. Mm -hmm. Whereas if they vote for despair, she wins and they get to stay inside. Yes. Hey. Yes. Oh, no. Prisoner's Dilemma. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I do see this. Yes. Oh, no. What? You mean we just... We'd have to just live here? Like you agreed to, I guess. She's saying she'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me and make your way to the outside world. What if we just punish you and then stay in here? What if we just got rid of you and then just said, what if we hang out in here and not go outside? Well, then the despair would probably make its way. Yeah, the rest of the ultimate despair would probably descend. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess right now with her being here, she's. I mean, she we'll can also protect see. She, us. she might explain. Okay. Yeah. Enter a world fallen from grace where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. Okay, yeah. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait a sec, I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all. So here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment. What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say... you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide... who's gonna have to suck it down! Why are you making up all these rules right now? Yes, you can. You're up! Me? What? Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you! So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, 
Then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me? But that's... What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? No, that's not it! It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't really have a despair face. Oh, yeah, true. Guys? It's so beautiful. Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. What if we all just jump you right now? Yeah, like... That's a great question. Like, Genocide Jill's got, got She's scissors, got scissors. On her. She could just... Hey, Biakia, tell Genocide Jill to Man, in this. wouldn't that be such a fucking twist? <laughs> Biakia just turns to, to Genocide and is just like... Get her. That one. Go, <laughs> now. And just like, six her on her like a, like a fucking, I don't attack know. Attack dog. Attack yeah. dog, yeah. <laughs> Yo, can, can that happen, please? That sounds great. <laughs> Besides... Yoko, Third option. you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko! One person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. We're not gonna lose to you. <laughs> so boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life. That's like the scariest Junko of them all. I was about to say, <laughs> when she drops it, you're like, oh shit. Oh, I don't I, like that. I didn't love yeah. that. The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair? That's not really living at all. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh... Oh my god, I still have... Oh my god. What... What, what do they want me to do now? We won't give up. Oh my god! As long as there's hope, hope. we'll never give up. Is everything going to be were hope? To die, I, 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 that would be the end of photo? Hope's Peak Academy. Or you could grab hope <laughs> and destroy oh, despair. Yeah, good idea, good idea. I'm going to wait till By it plays way, out and I'll see what's here. The air outside is totally polluted, you know. That's the air purifier. The only reason oh, we're yeah. okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Mm. Oh. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Me. <laughs> Me. Me. All of you will have to leave. Just letting her talk. Mm -hmm. You'll have hear. to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. Mm, guys. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Oh, what? What do I need to shoot? I mean, seems like everyone's struggling. Or maybe one for each of them. Yeah. Oh. 
it took yeah, a heart away for not shooting. Yeah, our, our friends are, are are being pulled under. Okay. We're losing our life here, so. Okay, we'll use my own hope to plant seeds of hope. Okay, okay. We won't uh, give pew, up. Pew, pew. Okay. Who? As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. You gotta up. claim it. Get hope, get oh, hope, oh. get hope. Got okay. it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right. So I gotta get to everybody and hit hope. Yeah. Each time. We'll break, we'll break. Yeah, break it. Get out of here. No. Hope. Hope. Lose hope now. <laughs> oh, my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. <laughs> but to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? <laughs> Yes, a year of hunger. Oh, right? I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. And we know that we can't, we can't trust everything that Junko Mon slash Monokuma says. Like, I mean, also, it could be true that we could walk outside and suddenly suffocate and die within the hour. Yep. But we know we that gotta have hope. People <laughs> tried to rescue us. We have faith. There's so, people out there that yeah. resist. If there, if if there wasn't hope. The resistance wouldn't still be fighting, and, that is and true. frankly, Junko wouldn't be trying to crush it so that hard. That is very true. Let's be yeah. hope. Let's do it. That's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here. The yes, whole yes. fortune telling thing doesn't matter yes. anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. Or if Junko killed them all, which she said she might have done. Killed all of his fortune tell or his oh. gut feelings? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I meant family. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yes. Well, that's we that likely. <laughs> okay. As long as there's hope, get hope. We'll never give up. Yeah. If I were to die, that would be the end. Get out of here. I've decided to have faith in myself. Yeah. Aww. By the way, the air outside is totally the only reason we're okay is thanks to the air purifiers in the <laughs> physics lab. Yes. Yeah. I want to get this one. Get it! Owie, how do you feel Owie, about hope? come on, don't lose hope! It's hope time! Sakura! Sakura I would want you to have yes. hope! Yes! And I was thinking, at a time like yes. this, yeah. what would Sakura do? Yes! What would Sakura do? You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Yeah, fuck you! Yeah. that thorny path with enthusiasm. Yeah, look, Owie say fuck! <laughs> that sounds like something she'd say, right? Yes. Yeah. No. I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I, I, yeah, I've made up my mind. Yes, we hope. Us. We gotta give us more hope. Smash. hope Genocider, we'll I guess is next. <laughs> I guess so. I want to go back out in there and that kill more people. people. Surely there's a few so pretty way, boys out there you that you haven't killed yet. Say whatever you want. If I die. Purifiers, in other words. It's gonna be great, Jim Sider. You're gonna it's love it. Life you've all been living. We'll yeah, it's it's end. a great crazy world out there. Yeah. <laughs> meh. No, not meh. Hope! Hope! hope <laughs> Come on, Genocider! <laughs> it's really funny that it's Genocide Girl right now instead <laughs> Toko. of Toko. <laughs> Toko's gonna wake up after this, like, what, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Hell yeah! Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. <laughs> oh. Well, no matter how I look, still hate it. <laughs> uh, get me the fuck out of here. I don't want to be locked in a school. She's like, I have a game that I have to be a protagonist yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, right. Master has to come along with us. We're getting to him. We don't worry. Yep, he's next. As long as there's hope. We'll never give up. He's gonna be a, a, a tough nut to crack he at the moment, but, but we're gonna, we're gonna yell get hope at him. <laughs> it's gonna work, and because we're friends, exactly. And we're literally all he has left. <laughs> He's our best friend. Yeah, he is. He is our best. That's friend. accurate. We are his best friend, maybe. We're only death and His only friend. <laughs> where, where are you, buddy? Yeah, yeah. How do you feel? Come on, hope. Don't lose hope now. <laughs> Just scream hope. <laughs> What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I'm the hero. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead. Because I'm still alive. Fuck yeah, dude! Fuck that yeah. guy! Yeah! 
So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known, we won't give up. Oh, it's the song. <laughs> as long as there's it's hope. Bang and Rumpa. <laughs> <laughs> If I were to die, who would be the end? left. Oh, Kyoko. So, okay. She, on, Kyoko. she couldn't be broken until now. If I die, Come on, Kyoko. Words, the communal life you've all... I can keep on living. All of you will have, have to go into the world after this. This is really funny with the sped up words. No, no, life By whatever means no. necessary. Yeah, hell so, yeah. What are you going to do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Come on, Kyoko. Kyoko. Hope, hope. Don't lose hope now. Don't lose hope. We believe in you! I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure just because we don't actually know anything. Does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that... No, never mind. So, Makoto. Mm -hmm. I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. Yeah. What? You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. We're the ultimate hope? You know it! We're the ultimate hope! You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. I mean, it's true. He never gives up. Not once. Yeah, not a single bit. Like, he keeps going. He'll be like, what? Yeah. No, I have to believe in my friends. What did I call him? I called him something early on. Like, I mean, we were talking about him being lucky, but I feel like I referred to him as something else, too. I think you literally said oh, he might be the ultimate hope. Yeah, I, yeah, maybe. I think I also said that he was like the ultimate, um, uh, uh, like blank slate. Yeah. As well, which kind of sort of the. No, it's not really the same thing. But he ne he does ne he never gave up the yeah. whole time. He never surrenders. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's true. I think Here's the heavens. Call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? Love it. I love it. What the? Yeah. Ultimate despair. What the hell are you? Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you with that. So uncool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool. So unhip. You're uncool. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! <laughs> lame, 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 lame! I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but... But still... But I still... I think this game would argue exactly the opposite. You need to Hope is absolutely it. Yeah. A, a skill you work on and you have just to- Just like this game. I know. <laughs> they really, what if I just do they this? really love- you Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Us. I just immediately went into overdrive mode. <laughs> Who are you? Your idiocy in this game. Come on, no more, no more. I'm Get out of here. I'm done with you. Gross. I'm done with your bullshit. Yeah, I'm nobody wants to see you I'm anymore. I'm gonna say fuck. <laughs> That's just his final. You suck. He screams that it's the so truth bullet is careening towards her. And he gets him in his back. Yeah, take joke. that. Who are you? So close. Come on. Three more. To die? Oh, and he gets his back. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Woo. Suffer from despair. Two more. Everything is Come on. Us. Come on. Get out of here, Come Chico. on, get out of here. We're so close to oh, the God, end. I'm out of bullets. Shit. Shoot her! Suffer from despair. Fuck you! No! The ultimate hope! I am hope. the ultimate hope! Tomorrow, hope keeps on going. Yeah! Get out of here! Get bent! <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to give up! I refuse to get bored! I refuse to throw it all away! I refuse to despair! Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. And the whole world is seeing this fucking shit right now, Yeah, too. the little Makoto so, Look at this boy! Yeah! yeah. And they're like, going oh, shit. On. I'm a little embarrassed now, actually. Yeah, this kid. So, I mean- It was that easy? Yeah, you just Shoot. needed to say no. Say no to despair. Oh, I guess you can just do that. Oh, okay. What's happening? Bye. 
We win. We win. Let's we got A's for almost all of them. There's gonna be some C's in here, I feel like that. Yeah. <laughs> and A. Yeah. A. Look at that, final results. We got some coins. Some coins. It's the currency of the new world order. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> They saw us spending it on it gifts and they're like, like these fools. The <laughs> I think it may be time to vote. I think so. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I love that Toka's not here. I don't, oh, sorry, that came out really <laughs> sad, but I think it's hilarious that it's genocide. It is, it is, it's instead. hilarious. It's deeply sad. It's very because sad. Because she's like, for once, at last, I'm gonna show up and be useful. And it's like, you are, it's just not gonna be you. Go she's gonna switch back and they're gonna walk outside. She'd be like, what the what fuck? I didn't agree to this. What happened? I didn't consent to this. No. I was gonna vote. I was gonna vote for I despair. absolutely would have killed Makoto. Yeah. That's how they need to get That's her out. That's why they got her out. <laughs> oh no. Hey. Let's, Let's get go. An end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. My kids. We got you. We voted. They've really come a long way, though. They really have come a long way. Because there's, there's a bunch of dumbasses, but they're yeah. doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Guilty, motherfucker. Check that shit out. What are you going to do? The hell? Yeah. Indeed. You've lost, Junko. Oh, 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 oh voicey time. I probably. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just angry now. Lost? Oh, okay. I lost? Me? No way. Well, that's I, it can't be! Uh, um... You still don't accept it? <laughs> Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. What the heck? But there's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just... She's still half-voiced. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. I'm so thrilled she's for you. So ex yeah, I was gonna say like a she doesn't fucking care. She's like, great. Yeah, go kill me. She gets to die just like her sister. Mm-hmm. What a gift. Huh? So this is despair. <laughs> we came to the school two years ago, created an incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. And now I to come this far and fail at the very end. True despair. Is the most ultimately ultimate despair. Well, what are you talking about? And now I. Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of this world the moment I was born. It's like, please off me. I'm so fuck. Like, In the worst, most embarrassing way possible. Just do it, please. Yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. Oh. That's why I've been. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. This once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste the highest grade despair, the utter failure of my dreams. True despair. <laughs> oh, I'm so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? Wait, is she? Enjoying this? Anyway. Anyway? So are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you gotta talk to yourself uh, a bit. <laughs> you think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Totally the best! Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. She already won in her like mm -hmm. in her mind, essentially. That's not true! Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over his over to his side. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she gotta say. Everyone! Hey. You said that despair is the is as contagious as any disease. However... But the same is true of hope. Mm -hmm. hmm. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. K Kyoko! Hmm. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, stop it! Stop! I hate those faces that you're making! To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. There's one last thing. Fine. Let me just say one last thing. 
If you guys want to get all hung up on the word hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned. From this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. Hmm. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope. But there's a very fine line dividing hope from bitter despair. <laughs> Knowing that, you still plan to cling to your hope? Of course! Because we... It's fine. Shut up! Fine. Shut up! That's a rhetorical question! You interrupted my monologue. <laughs> I'm almost done, though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? It can't be. Do you really intend to go through with this? <laughs> that was the agreement, right? Oh, hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. Stop it! Stop, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! it stop it! it. Hmm. What? Sorry, I realized halfway through that that she was forcing the line. That's fine. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want now is to taste that despair of death that you only get once in life. So... Don't get in my way! <laughs> fucking let me go die. Yeah. Is what she's saying. Let her have her fun, I guess. <laughs> fine. Okay. <laughs> So this is how the despair of death feels. Oh, it's so wonderful. Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> oh, Junko. I feel like it's got... She just walks. She just walks. Yep. <sighs> oh, Junko. Oh, Junko. See you in the next life, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I'm... I'm glad you had fun. I guess? I don't even fucking it's know! It's all of them, too. It's, it is it's like the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish you hadn't killed all those people. For what Just it's worth. all of it. It's <sighs> Just like, I'll just do it all! Yeah. <laughs> It's great. So I just want to run the gauntlet. Will you yeah. let me run the gauntlet? And I just, they, they all just look so great. I really wanted to experience them for myself. That's literally like. Bye. Oh, yep. The, the rocket. Yep. Just give me all of it. Oh my God. It's really tragic. Oh my God. And so ends the tale. <laughs> well, that's what she wanted. There's uh, no joy in it. I love no. how the whole cast are like, please don't. What? And that, and that's, and that's that, huh? Yep. Huh. And that's that. Bye, Junko. Wow. Air purifier is about to turn off. We're gonna suffocate. Yep. Slowly realizing this isn't a great day, yep. but that's okay. Fuck. And. That's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Enoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, <sighs> ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. It did tell us up front. It did. That what we were gonna get. It really did. And it did not lie. Yay! Yay, we got the Monokuma hair tie. They're cute. Woo. I'm not gonna lie. They do look cute. <laughs> Woof. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off. Just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference.
Bye, Despair High School. Danganronpa. <laughs> that was the no, saddest got, Danganronpa. That was really sad. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end... Ooh. Hey. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, would you do the honors? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Juko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... But, is that really it? Is this really the key to the door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If, mm -hmm. on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force I you out. We've, we've, yeah, we've we heard this this episode. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, I will force you out. She said that just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be our, uh, our way out of here. Sorry, but... Here you go. But you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's gonna make the school self-destruct. I mean, Junko never said specifically that she'd let us leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe? Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think that uh, we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. If something ever happened to Master, I'd take my scissors and jam him so far up. Welcome back. Oh. Uh huh? Hey, where's the courtroom? Where's the mastermind? It's all over. We're just about to leave the school. Oh, Togo. What? Leave? We can go outside? <laughs> then that means me and Master can get married? And then he'll give me the jewel, oh, yeah, the little jewel of a baby. Oh God! That's enough. Please stop. That would be a greater <laughs> horror than anything I've encountered so far, and my whole family died. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you just said that. In I, your did, voice. I did. I <laughs> did. Anyway, don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But. It's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. But you know, in the end, I... I think part of me still thinks... For serious? Maybe when we get out there, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. That the other side of the... On the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie. Peaceful as we, as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we're meant to live. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess so. And how do I put this? Unlike this school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. But there also has to be lots of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope to try to find it? That by itself is the true meaning of hope. Hmm. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Hmm. I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. <laughs> you know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. <laughs> okay. That's a way to put To it. rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami dynasty. <laughs> oh, I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. You got it. 
Well, my first stop is going to be the closest donut shop. Well, I can figure out the rest from there. That's very hopeful of you, Hina. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's always donuts. There's got to be donuts. It's dough and fat. <laughs> hey. And what are you going to do if there are no more donut shops or donuts? Okay. I'll just get some flour and make them myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. Aw. Yeah, go the Wally route. Owie. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you just gotta build one. Creation. Oh, wait, creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. Could it be? That's my hope. How about that? I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yasuhiro Hagakure's life story is about to begin. Good for you, man. <gasps> Woo! Thanks, Hina. You totally. Re uh, you've totally opened my eyes. Oh. Hey, uh, personal space, buddy. You're seriously creeping me out. <laughs> Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone on the outs in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steeped in despair, <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out there and do something, have some sort of impact... But... What can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. What can we do? No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything! Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. Aww. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? Oh, Makoto, Makoto. Oh. It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up. I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands, with our hands, hope and despair mingled together opening the door to the future. Oof. We all immediately suffocated. <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> And then all, all the <laughs> rockets suck. who had their noses trained on the door fired at once, yep. killing them instantly. <laughs> Great. The end! But we had hope! <laughs> we had hope! And that's what matters. I'm guessing that's it. They're yeah. not going to see the, what no, the world looks not. like. Of course not. You yeah! just got to believe. You got to hope for good things. Ooh. Wow. Bad and rompa. <laughs> Holy shit, Gina. What a uh, fucking game! Yeah, it's a real, it's a real that treat. One, that honestly. one's a real trip. That is, that is, wow. I'm like, I know this was a long episode. Thank you guys for sticking it out with us, but it needed to be. Yeah, we. And it's like once you once you face down the end, you gotta, you gotta just yeah, go keep a rolling. Yeah, that was wow. That was a really good game. I really, really, really enjoy this game. Yeah. Like, it's it's all over the place. It's distressing and upsetting, but it's also like 
so it's so fun when all of its pieces come together and you're just like, yeah, yes, I love that. Yeah. You you foreshadowed that and you did a great job. It's it it is a crazy frenetic weird thing mm -hmm. for sure, but it's so well written. Like ultimately, like the story and the mystery and like how it all plays out is very very well written. Mm -hmm. And they take a oh. bunch of ludicrous uh, ludicrous caricature characters and like. Make you care about them. Yeah, look at like these they boys. They round them out. Like by the end, our, our weird cast of not even friends is like you just are really proud of yes. them. Yes. Like look at you guys do good things. Yeah. And like yes, it's not perfect. Oh no, like, absolutely certainly not. not perfect. And there's certainly aspects about it that were that were problematic. But it's like as as a as a story and as a concept and like as it's executed, very good. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Um, yeah, what a weird thing. I, ah. Oh. No, completely, and, and like, I mean, it stuck with me ever since I, I read it for the first time. Yeah. And, and I just love, I love how this game sits. Like, this game on its own is something that I like, I circle back on and I, I remember because uh -huh. of its characters and because of its twists and turns mm -hmm. um, and all of that. And then also, Obviously, it's part of a a, a series. Yeah, it is. Um, and that in and of itself is really fascinating because of the nature of the game, because of the world, because of all of it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It really does slot in the same way that, like, it, it it's very similar to 999 in that it can stand on its own, but it does kick off, like, a, a larger story. Mm -hmm. And, like, you don't necessarily need to, like, it, it's its own little thing, but if you, like... It clearly is is springboarding into more, and uh, yeah, I just I, I really love that. And it goes places. Yeah. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> it, 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 it goes places. This, this is a fairly normal game comparatively. Oh boy. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. No. Absolutely. This is the tame one. Yeah. This is <laughs> this is the straightforward one. Oh, oh wow. Holy shit. Yeah. This was this was so good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and I, I feel I really feel for all these characters in the end too. Like it's just very, like very character driven, mm. and just uh, all about the characters. Um, and that totally makes sense because like they were friends. Like as you learn in the end. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ugh, really good. I I am so glad that we got to play this game. I'm so glad that we, I got to explore it with you. I'm just so Ooh. like it's such a good time. Oh. Oh, sorry. I, I, no, you're I'm good. seeing if I good can skip the, the credits and we got here. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Bear. Oh, hello. Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your, I am this school's headmaster. Hey, little bear. Hello. My dear friend. Just a nice little reminder. Oh, yeah, Easter, Easter egg. egg. <laughs> ha, that's funny. That's very good. I like that. I like that very much. All's well that ends um, is the achievement, the achievement. we just got. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to do this. I don't know why. Ding in real Yay! Fun. Huh. Anyway, I am so earnestly glad that we got Woo! to share this game together. It has yes. been such a fun ride going on this with you, Allison. This has been wonderful. I managed to not spoil the whole game you didn't spoil for you. Anything. You did great. Thank you. Yeah, it was fantastic. I loved playing this game with you, Gina, and I loved voicing all of these characters. Mm -hmm. I loved all of your voices. I I loved. Uh, spending time with them, even if it did mean ultimately killing most of them. Um, You're not wrong. And <laughs> I loved your Makoto voice. Thanks. I loved all of your character voices, but your Makoto voice just like, your, oh, was And so your good. Monokuma is just fucking stellar. Thank like, you. So, so good. It was very um, fun. <laughs> this has been wonderful. Thank you guys so much for joining us for Rampa, Trigger Happy Havoc, and I think we'll see you all next time. See you then. <laughs>